So this will be part six, I believe, of on the update of the seventy-two. I got bad news and I got good news. Uh, I guess we'll start with the good news. My tires got here today. I just got them mounted up. Really nice. They're uh, ITP Bud Lights, twenty-eight by uh, twenty-five. Not twenty-eight. Twenty here. Twenty-five by eight by twelve. ITP one tires, but they're awfully skinny for that uh, that size tire. Sears has the same size, but they're a lot fatter. Awfully skinny tire. Um, a new seats on it. Uh, I just I think I wanted a little bit more of a comfier seat because this is gonna be more of like a trail mower, not a mud mower. Well, it's gonna be both, but it's gonna be more trail. Um, I painted this little emblem here in the center. I took it out. Uh, I think I, I'm gonna paint the uh, Sears black, but I got both front tires. X, huh? That one's going flat. I guess that one's got a slow leak. Um, this one I just fixed tonight. Um, so the bad news is, is as you can tell, there's no engine in the middle. No engine. The last time you saw it, it had no rear tires, but had the engine bolted in. So what happened with the engine is. It's right here, 12 force to come. So, when I parked it before I took it out of the Sears to put the Duramax in, it ran perfectly fine. And then I let it sit for half of the winter. I let it sit for Christmas till the other day. And it had no spark. Really was a big bummer because I had that thing completely wired with all brand new wiring. Me and my dad spent almost all morning wiring the thing. And then have this thing not start. It was really, I just gave up for the day. I didn't, I just pushed it back up here and said, what the heck was it? Because we took it down to his shop, which is just down over the hill over here. Um, big, nice enclosed shop with air conditioning and a lot more tools and stuff. Um, so, what you're probably wondering is, is it going to stop for a while? Just a tiny bit. Um... What I've been looking at for, I want to put another clone engine like I did with the Super 12 Sears mode bar because it has the giant 16 horsepower Duramax. Not going to get another Duramax as much as I love that engine. It's just I want to change it up. You can't have the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I've been looking at the 6 horsepower, 6.5 to 7, there's been debates on it. Predator engine, two, 212 cc's, um, I get a 14 horse, because that's electric starting stuff, but they're a lot of money, they're like four or five hundred dollars, I don't have that money, unless I would, if I did, I would, um, so, I've talked to a few people on Facebook, um, they don't think it's going to have the power, but I've also seen people who have mud machine? You said that you had one in a tractor, not the Sears though. I don't know what you put it in. Um, so it was really nice. Uh, Big Bo, uh, I, I don't remember the rest of your channel. He has a Suburban 10. He put one in with huge tires. It does really good. Um, so in the next week or two, that's what's gonna be happening here. Um. I still gotta paint the rear rims black. I know I'm gonna get grease about that if I didn't say that. Um, don't worry, they will be black. I just I ran out of black spray paint. Um, go up the track supplying some more of that. Uh, that's about it for right now, I guess, for the update. Uh, I know I'll have a few questions. Nothing's happened with the Timberland. Um, we'll not be using the 20 horse V twin in that. Uh, looking at the engine, looking at the tractor, it's going to be a yeah, really tight fit and I'll have to cut much more up than I'd like to. Um, so we're going to use a 15 horsepower core that was in the Great Craftsman and put the 20 horse V-Twin in the Great Craftsman. Have like a redneck wizard type deal. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys like the look of the new tires. I certainly do. I have these on my full wheeler, front and rear. Really nice tire. Lucas Albro has them on his tractor. Uh, one thing I did not show you, I painted Sears across here. 
And I did T TS Customs back here. This is a Sears track, this little cutout. I just taped it onto here, cut it out, uh, put what, uh, spray tape down, and I put sh Sharpie. I taped this down with scotch tape, sharpied around it, cut it out with the X Acto knife, and I took the paint out and I spray painted it. Uh, really nice. It's like much better than stickers. Right. Stickers will fall off after a while. Um, yeah. Uh, next up update will probably be unboxing the 6.5 Predator. Do you guys think that'll be good? Um, leave a comment below. If you don't think it'll be good, leave a comment. It does, doesn't hurt to sit, uh, put your opinion in. Um, that's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to run a 5 inch pulley. Um, not too crazy. The other one's got a 6 inch pulley. But what the problem with this one is, on your Murray's and Craftsman, there's two pulleys on your engine. One to run your engine, which is very small, and one to run your uh, belt, uh, your mower deck. This is the pulley that you run your mower deck with. We cut the old pulley off, welded this, because this used to be out here. It didn't work because like, it's only shaft so far. And the problem I had is the, you can't see, but the belt actually started to go in the pulley because they didn't uh, mesh correctly. Uh, bigger pulley than belt size. Um, go check out uh, Mower Mafia on Facebook. I won one of their contests, the most likes on tractor. Gets free stickers and it gets to be the promotional tractor for like their uh, top of their page. This is the picture. Um, me and Diesel Mudboggin created a Facebook group, Sears Modern Mowers. Go check them out. And TS Customs, which is me. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Check that out. Uh, I'll probably have to redo one. I did a... I didn't do a group. I did something different. I already do it. But, uh, yeah, soon uh, TS Customs on Facebook will be up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you guys. On the next video uh, update will be on unboxing the new Predator, which will be here. Maybe two or three three weeks uh because it's the end of the week now uh a guy's supposed to come pick this up but never showed up so i gotta email him back i'm money off of that uh we'll be going into the new engine uh sorry i sound a little weird guys just my throat's just pollen it's just like it's awful this year <sighs> um yeah i'll talk to you guys later um